spaces that we're doing are the living room and entryway. Our cart is full. This was a success. My gut is telling me to go with the quarter. Every single one of these rugs are blue. If you were curious if we got some trick-or-treaters. I found this one. And if it dies, it'll be on her, not me. <laughs> so that's great. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are already packing up. I am on my way, it's Sunday today, happy Sunday. I am on my way to start the next makeover. I was just packing up a few things that I need for today and then we're gonna go back tomorrow. So anything that I don't have, cause I kinda need to assess today, but I know for sure we're doing like a board and batten look, similar to what I did on my stairs, but a little different. Um, so I know for those things, I know what I need. Like obviously my nail gun, my battery, my level, my saw, um, table saw. Romeo already put it in the car for me this morning. And I'm pretty sure a drill is always handy. And my little set, I actually am missing some very important pieces in this set. <laughs> And I know I'm gonna need like a caulk gun and some caulking. I need to get some more um, caulk. Um, we're not gonna get to that today for sure. I think what we'll get to is like putting up the board and batten and assessing some other things. So I think this is good for good for now. Okay, we are on our way. So this morning is it's about nine, almost ten now. I was just finishing up my getting my vlog live for today, and then you guys will see the makeover on on Tuesday. Uh, so this will be after all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that first makeover for my friend Margaret. Uh, we are on the way today. This morning is gonna be spent just like shopping. There's definitely things that we need um, because this is a new house. They they just bought their first house. They don't have much, they have like a room, like a, like a bedroom worth of stuff. I actually did a makeover for my friend Jerrica years ago and she has a lot of that stuff that she brought over to the new house. But the spaces that we're doing are actually the living room and entryway. So she, they don't have anything for, for that. So I've been ordering a few things. The, some furniture came already, but more is coming tomorrow. So we're kind of like in the middle of kind of just gathering the items. We need rugs, one for the entry, and one for the living area. So I'm gonna go there first to the house and measure. We're definitely gonna need some lamps for the entryway, um, some pillows, like throw pillows and things. So I have arrived and made it. We are actually at, at home. Um, they have tons of stuff. So we're hoping to find rugs, lamps, a mirror for sure. Um, some other like smaller decor pieces. Big buggy. Oh my gosh, so far we've already found really pretty lamps and a really pretty rug. So like this was like a huge success with so much stuff in here. It's wild. <laughs> I love these. Yeah, they're like super organic. Our cart is full. This was a success. I mean, we picked the most neutral things in this place. <laughs> I love it. We've made it to Home Depot and we're trying to decide about the board and batten how thick to do it and i've given jerk a challenge i'm like do you want it a half inch like i did in my living room that i eventually put trim on to kind of ease some, like the edges a little bit to soften the edges or we can save almost half the budget and do quarter of an inch thick which will be a lot thinner but i think you'll still get the dimension and the the difference but it just won't be as thick. And I told her, these are decisions I make every day. And we're just sitting here and... <laughs> I'm like, I know, it's hard. You can't, you can't, vis you can't visualize it. You don't know yeah. if the thickness, it, it does. It's like the half is too thick and the quarter is too small. We need three eighths <laughs> and they don't make it. Also, I'm just like, I need to make a decision. Do I want the wall for the look, like just for the general look? and feel of it when you're walking into the house. Yeah. I just don't know. <laughs> My gut is telling me to go with the quarter because that feels thick to me. Yeah. I think if I had high ceilings. Ooh, okay. That's a good way of putting it. 
I would. Like if you I'm, had more, if you, it, it, was, it was a bigger space height wise, you'd feel more confident in it being more substantial of a, yeah. depth, a deep set. A quarter? A quarter. I think you'll still get it. Oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> Back at home. Spent two days down in Orange County working on that makeover and then I'm gonna go back tomorrow. Um, so the first day we spent like just like trying to find some other decor pieces. We found some really great lamps that you guys saw. Uh, we did find a rug that looked so good in the store and I hate that this happens. It's, you have to see it in your space. There's just, without fail, I feel like I've loved something in the store and if there's any sort of blue in it, like a rug, like if there's any sort of blue in it, when you get it home, it always goes so icy. That's what happened in the front room. I bought a rug at um, Home Goods, and it was so pretty. And I got it here, and it was so like icy gray. Uh, honestly, I think at the at home that we were at, it was a different dye lot. Like there is no way that the sample was also the rug. So we have that to box. It's still a pretty rug and the pattern is still the same. It's just not as warm. And we really wanted to add that warmth because everything else in the space is, is really contrasted. So like light and dark. So it's like the couch is gonna be light, the, the chair is light, the coffee table is dark, which is good. You know, some other elements we're bringing there. So we really wanted to add that like, like warmth, that organic warmth feeling. So I'm gonna run to Home Goods today and we're gonna just take a stab at it. We did visit a couple of them over there, no, no luck. Today, this morning, I woke up and got my nails done. I got like a pe warm peachy color. <laughs> if you guys saw my nails before this, you would have been like McKenna. You have really let yourself go. Ran there this morning and came back. Um, just starting my day, I need to take my vitamins. A big thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. I have been taking Ritual's Essentials for Women for years now, and I love it. It's the Essentials for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus, and I take two of these capsules every day. I also have been taking their Symbiotic Plus, which is a three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. And when I started to have issues, I started to research more about just probiotics in general. And I didn't realize that probiotics really help to support overall immune health because 70% of our immune system is located in our gut. So I really found that my gut issues were directly tied to the things that I ate, obviously, but also stress and travel. So I wanted to start taking a probiotic, but when I found out that Symbiotic Plus is a three-in-one, so the prebiotic helps to support the growth of beneficial bacteria and the post helps to really give your gut lining exactly what what it means to be really healthy. So I love that it was all three in one. If you have not checked out Ritual already or you don't already take a multivitamin every day, definitely check it out. It's so easy to introduce into your daily routine because you can take them with or without food at any time of day. They don't have to be refrigerated. I keep them right by my coffee machine and it's subscription based so you never run out. So if you haven't checked out Ritual already, I will leave a link in my description box and you can use code XO30 for 30% off your first month when you go to ritual.com slash XO30. Well, let's run to Home Goods. Let's see the rugs and see any kind of like other little decor items that they might have. Oh my gosh. And you guys, yesterday was Halloween. If you were curious if we got some trick-or-treaters, the answer is yes, we did. We we're very excited about it. I was very excited. We were both very excited about it. Uh, for, we were really worried because we were had been asking our neighbors, you know, just as they would kind of pass by when we were decorating or outside, you know, if they if they got any because we weren't here last Halloween, and most of them, one of them said yes, and then one, all the rest of them said no, never. We year years now. Well, I was thinking because you know, like the pandemic, obviously, um, kind of like stopped that kind of stuff. But I told Romeo yesterday before you know, trick-or-treating started, I was like, we should have asked those people if they decorated. You know, like we should have had a follow-up question. So I know like kind of the rule of thumb, like if, if your porch light is on, like you're fully in the giving the candy situation. Like you're like ready for trick-or-treat business, you know? But I know for me, if I was walking down the street and not many houses were decorated, I would, I would definitely skip the ones that weren't decorated. 
feel, you know, they don't feel like they're in the spirit of Halloween. Trying not to eat all the candy before Halloween actually happened. He was like walking like past the door uh, to the kitchen and he was like, oh my gosh, somebody's here. And it was the two cutest girls. And they had been driving around to like houses. That's actually what I used to do when when I was really young. Like my mom would like drive me to the houses because how, where we lived, it was like things were a little more spread out. And then we got another like group of like four and then another um, little boy. And then later on, we got another one. So all, all in all, we had probably like 10. And Romeo was just like, he, he just so desperately wants every he wants to live in a neighborhood where everyone like is really excited by the holidays you know like he he wants everyone to decorate and you know he was like why is everybody so lame and I was like well you know maybe they're just not into it I don't know and but everyone seemed really happy like with our decorations they were like always like admiring and saying saying nice things to us but I know it's a lot to like go through that. We, we just love that stuff. So it's hard to imagine someone else not loving it. We had leftover candy, which Romeo wasn't, well, he was sad about because he wanted to hand it all out. He was like rationing them, like, like proportionally. He's like, okay, I have enough for 16 more. I can give them two each. Cause then he started giving people like six pieces of candy each. I'm like, you're going to run out of candy. He was like, but you know, we, I want them to like come back next year. He's so funny. He's so cute. So anyways, that was an update on Halloween. We have to take down the decorations, obviously. I may leave that up to Romeo. I'm working on this, <laughs> this makeover. He may take it down. We're just going to store it. We're going to keep all the pumpkins. We, we love that look. single one of these rugs are blue have blue in them do they make too many blue rugs because that happens a lot i always see blue rugs see like this would be too icy i know it i'm looking for pillows because we were unsuccessful i found this one I love this one so much. I'm on a mission to find more than one of these. It's uh, uh, not looking great. Well, I found it right here, but you never know where you're gonna find something. I also found, I stashed my stuff here while I went to get a cart. I found this. I know it's Christmas, so ignore what's in it for now. But look how pretty the pot is. I was like, I could totally use that pot. So I take this out. She could use it for Christmas, but I would style something like every day in it for now until she decorates, you know what I mean? But finding some things, even though we didn't find a rug. I also need like a throw that's really textured and has some warmth, like kind of like this, but in a throw. And you guys, the 30th of October was Kinsley's birthday, day before yesterday. And I wanted, I was working on the makeover. <laughs> I need to get her a present, like a baby, a new baby to play with. Some, she likes the little ones. She doesn't like like super big ones. They have to be little because she's little. Like, is it too early for Christmas ones? Rudolph and a little striped one. That's so cute. Lordly. A little still too little too big. She likes them really small. Oh, this is a great one. I love the dark candle. This is a great one for their kitchen. I need like something to stack with that. A smaller one or a bigger one even. I feel like this one looks I love the round. I think the tones are pretty. They might work together. I mean there's not a bunch of height, you know, underneath the countertop, so it can't be like too crazy. It's like well, I like this one with the feet because they can put like their olive oil and you know things on it right next to their stove to I like in the kitchen I like to corral things together like that, you know. I have good cutting boards here, actually. You guys, it's totally Christmas. I can't believe this. It's wild. I love it, though. Okay, I actually think that that was pretty successful. I got some pillows. I wish I would have found another one of those, that pretty one. 
but I didn't. <laughs> but that one was really pretty. Um, that like looks like something that I would get like super high end, like for really expensive at a home goods price. You know, I think it was like 20, 29 maybe. I got a pot. I was definitely looking for a pot, but I had to take the Christmas out. I got some cutting board things. So that's good. I, I struck out on a rug, but we do have the other rug. It's just like more icy than I would have ideally wanted it to be. So I'm thinking, um, I want to, I want to bring a plant in, um, but I don't like fake plants, like fake trees. It's a problem. So I asked her, I was like, do you want to try and keep a plant alive? And she was like, yeah, I'm down for it. I was like, okay, you have a house now, whatever. Um, so I want to go buy Rolling Greens and see if they have any fiddle figs. I know the fiddle figs are super temperamental. I've never actually had one myself because I've always been really scared to see if I could keep them alive. Um, but the spot that I would put it in would get some brightness in the room at a certain in the afternoon, but not direct sun so it wouldn't burn the leaves. And I'm thinking that it might thrive there <laughs> and if it dies it'll be on her not me <laughs> so that's great um so i want to go by i'm gonna stop by rolling greens let's go by and see and see if they have any really pretty like organic pots This is organic and pretty too though. How pretty is this fiddle fig in this pot? I looked at all the pots and this one fit perfectly. It has a little bit of a terracotta color, so I think it's, it's throwing a little bit of a pink, but it also gives us warmth. Good morning guys, it's the next day. Just packing up all my like computer stuff because I like to bring it with me. I always have something computer related to do when I'm like on site doing like <laughs> makeover. Um, so I am just doing that, getting all of my little pieces ready. Uh, this is the probably, hopefully the final day. I may have to go back another day, maybe, maybe not. We'll see how today goes, but we're just finishing up our projects and decorating. So I wanna bring a few things that I know that I have that I know that she will love, kind of in my stash, like some um, coffee table books and a bowl that I have that I don't use anymore that I think that she would really like. So I'm gonna gather all of that stuff and we're heading out. It's a little, it's about nine. We attempted one day to drive super early. I woke up at 4.30 in the morning, got ready, packed the car, was ready. We were out by like 6.30. I thought we were going to be there in like maybe a little over an hour. There were four wrecks. It took us three hours to get to Orange County from our house. It was awful. So we were like, okay, that doesn't work. Going early. Now, I think the four wrecks was a little, a lot, but 
it didn't work going super early. We hit traffic inevitably, so we just waited. So now it's nine, I'm gonna map it. Um, hopefully it'll only take us about an hour, hour and a half or so. So the video will be live, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed coming shopping with me and enjoyed this vlog. I will see you guys very soon for another video. We're just gonna keep working on projects, keep doing fun things. We're going to New York for Romeo's birthday soon, so that's really exciting. We're actually leaving on Sunday, which is crazy. I know, you're not coming to New York. No, I don't know if you would love it. You would love Paris. I don't know if you would love New York. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess. <laughs>